Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about how to generate longer form content using Simplified's long form writer. So there's a couple of different use cases for using AI in Simplified. If you're just generating some short form content, sometimes that short form assistant is the way to go. But if you're creating long form content or you're creating lots of content at one time, our long form writer is an incredible tool that can help you generate long form content like entire blogs, articles, essays, or tons of social media ideas, even meeting notes with your team, all in one doc. This is set up to be a familiar document style. So it's set up much like Google Docs so that you feel familiar in the tool. Um, and I'm gonna show you how we can start to write a blog. So what I usually do is come up here to the top and I'm gonna go ahead and rename my document into a blog about digital marketing. And let's update that, great. And then we want to come up with a blog idea or title. So let's say that I know that I'm going to blog about digital marketing, but I just have no ideas. And this is where writer's block or creative block, um, it really affects us and it really takes a lot of our time. And so using AI to be able to generate some ideas is going to be a huge time saver. So what I'll do is I'm going to select this template. And if you notice over here on the right hand side, there's this drop down menu here. Now you can access all of the different AI templates that you have on the short form writer. You can access them here within the long form writer so that you can generate all of those specific copies with templates if you want to. So you'll notice at the top, these first few templates are numbered and that is to make blogging simple. You're gonna start off with number one with blog ideas and titles. And then we'll select a tone of voice. So I'm gonna go with informal and my output language is English. We do have over 20 different languages. And then we'll put in our topic is digital marketing and click generate. All of these outputs count towards your AI word limit. So if you wanna generate some more, you can do that. And you can also train the AI so that it knows which outputs you're liking and which outputs you're hating by using this heart to favorite the ones that you like and then using the trash can to throw away the ones that you don't like. So that's going to help the AI to know what types of outputs are valuable to you, and it will generate more of those types of outputs the next time that you put in a similar topic. So we'll click this little plus button to add it to our document. And this is really a simplified workflow. So we're trying to give you as many things as we can in one click. So it's even simpler than just copy and pasting. The simplified long form writer is all about helping you write faster. So now that we have a title, we're gonna go back up to the top and click this down arrow button. And now we're gonna click blog introduction because it has number two, so that must be what we do next. We need to put in the blog topic and that's where we're going to insert our title. So Simplified's long form writer, instead of having to copy and paste, again, since we're trying to make it simple, you can just highlight the text on the document and it automatically fills here. So all you need to do is highlight and then click generate. And there's an entire introduction paragraph, guys. This is the magic of AI. Go ahead and add that in and I'll take a second to kind of skim it and make sure I don't need to do any edits. Okay, and then we'll come back up here to our drop down menu. And now we're gonna do a blog outline. So this is where we're going to pick the topics for our blog and the content that we're going to expand upon. So again, we'll do the blog topic. We're gonna to go ahead and highlight just the title of the blog, and then we'll click generate. All right, and if you scroll down here, you can see that it took into consideration the title. So everything you need to know about email marketing, SEO, PPC, and more. And so we have email marketing, SEO, PPC, and then the AI added a few more. Social media marketing and measuring the success of your digital marketing campaigns. So let's go ahead and drop that one in. And now here comes the fun part. The blog section completer. So with this setting, you can select over here since we're following this number system, the blog section completer. And then we're gonna select the blog section title instead of the title of my entire blog. So I'm just going to highlight this section title and then I'll click generate over here and it can generate the entire section of this blog. So that's gonna be this whole paragraph. And I'm gonna delete this little number here just for formatting. 
and then we'll leave that. This will be like a heading in my blog so I can make that bold. And then I'll go ahead and drop in the content there. And then let's go ahead and move down to our second section. The benefits of digital marketing. And now I'm going to show you a little bit of a shortcut. So Simplify's long form writer, we're all about saving you time. So when you highlight something on the document, you'll see this shortcut menu pop up. And this is just helping you to write quicker without having to go back and forth to the different templates. So if you click continue, it's going to just continue writing. That's for cases where you're generating something and you just want to see if the AI can generate a little bit more content. Maybe you want this paragraph to be a little bit longer. So we'll highlight the whole thing and then click continue. And we'll see the AI generate more content to just make that section longer. So you can see many more words. And so we could drop that in. Also on the shortcut bar, there's the option to rephrase. So if I don't like the wording of this particular content, I can click rephrase. And each time I generate something, it's going to show up over here in this right hand sidebar. So here we go. It's rephrased this exact sentiment in different words. Next, I can expand. So if I want to take one sentence or a few words and make it into a full sentence or make it into maybe three or four sentences, I can expand. And I can also write section. So this is the blog section completer function, but it's just in the shortcut bar so we can go a little bit faster. And then we have our plagiarism check, which I'm going to show you at the end. So let's go ahead and just write this section. And you'll notice in this section, because it was a longer output, it stopped in the middle of a sentence. That's because the AI has a limited number of characters that it can generate in one go. So all we need to do is go ahead and highlight up as far as we can, and then we'll select continue section. So that continue writing function is going to complete sentences. It's going to write more on same or similar topics. So we'll add that in. And if you look at this output, it literally completed the sentence. So digital marketing techniques allow you to achieve a high degree of engagement with your target audience, fostering a better connection with them. So this is getting really long. So we're going to go ahead and cut some of this short. So let's do email marketing. And you can see I just highlighted those two words and my shortcut bar is not available because it needs at least 20 characters. So that's not enough information for the AI to give us a good enough output. And so it's gonna flag you there. So let's go ahead and give it some more context. Okay, and here I have a little bit of a few sentences that I just didn't like. Um, so we'll go ahead and um, just continue writing from here. So I do like this content. And this is the power of AI. You know, AI is never going to replace human writers and human copywriters because we still need that human editing and human touch. But it definitely is going to make you much faster. When writing and when coming up with ideas, this is just a way to expedite and really make you a better copywriter with some of the sentence structures and the frameworks that are already built into Simplified. Okay, and our blog is getting really long now, so let's go ahead and wrap it up. So we're going to highlight all of this. Click continue just so that I can round out that list. I have a number one and a number two, so I at least need probably four. Yep, three and four. Great. So now that we have all this amazing content, let's go ahead and wrap it up and make our call to action really clear because you're blogging for a reason. So we're gonna go back up here to our template and we're gonna select number five. So we did number four and in just a few minutes we were able to write this entire blog full of all of this content that could have taken us a day or days. And instead we're done in just a few minutes. So now let's wrap it up with a blog conclusion paragraph. Now this template is a little bit different. We're gonna go ahead and just put in our blog topic, which is the title of our blog. And then we'll put in the desired call to action. And that is, what do you want your audience to do? So they got to the bottom of your blog. Do you want them to like, comment, follow, subscribe? Do you want them to book a consultation or download an ebook or check you out somewhere else? 
What action are you trying to drive your audience to do? Out of this blog, what is your ideal situation? And so you'll put in that desired call to action and then click generate. And you can see that the AI has included that if you would like more information or would like to book a consultation with a dot marketing expert, please visit our website. So it's very clear in asking your reader to do exactly what you want them to do. So now we have this amazing, juicy blog and we can go through and adjust our formatting. So let's go ahead and make all of these section topics bold. Here are a couple of different types and styles of font. So I'm going to go ahead and make this one header one so that it's formatted correctly. Now let's go ahead and check and edit all of our content. So if we scroll down, Simplified has a built-in Grammarly integration. So there's no uploading, copy and pasting into Grammarly. Grammarly is already built into the AI Writer. So you'll see everything just with a red underline and you can go ahead and accept all of these different edits that Grammarly is suggesting. And then you can go back in here and edit it yourself as well. Now, another cool little trick or hack is you can change the tone of your copy using Simplified's template. So let's say that you're a copywriter and you got a freelance gig and you wrote some content and the client comes back and says, hey, that was great. It was a little bit informal in tone. I would like it to sound more formal. What you'll do is just go ahead and highlight this and then you'll come over to this template and use content rewriter. And now we're gonna change the tone. So it was informal before, and now we can change it to be more formal. And then we'll put in the content, which is gonna be this first paragraph, and we'll hit generate. And that's gonna actually change the tone of this copy to sound a little bit more formal. So you can see that it's using larger words, it's just a little bit more polished. And so that's a quick way to be able to copy and edit and rewrite your content. Another amazing feature of Simplified's Long Form Writer is that you can get your blog completely ready to publish right here in Simplified. Simplified's AI Writer is the only AI writer that has a built-in media library, meaning you can find all of the photos and the content to put into your blog right here in Simplified. So you don't need to go searching through stock photo sites or keep stock photo subscriptions for that. It's right here built into Simplified. So you're gonna click on this little file folder icon that says Media Library. And that opens up your sidebar to be able to access all of your design projects, any uploaded assets that you have, images, or GIFs. How fun is that? So let's go and look for some stock images. When you click this down arrow button, you'll be able to select the source. You could connect your own Google Drive if you have particular photos that you want to put into your blog. Or you can browse from literally millions of all of these amazing stock images. So we're going to go for digital marketing. We'll go for this one. And then the credit to the photo is already right here. It drops in in one click, just like that. You can adjust the size of your photo to be able to what... You can adjust the size and dimensions of your photo, or you can even adjust the orientation if you want it to be centered or to the left or right. So we're gonna keep ours over here to the right. And then we've got our little photo credit here. Now let's go ahead and find another image. And then we'll adjust the spacing here as well. And then we need a photo for email marketing. This one's cute, so we'll just drop that in there. And we'll go ahead and adjust the orientation of that as well, just the formatting. All right, and now my blog is ready to go and I'm ready to export this. So I can go ahead and come up here to export. And now my blog is ready to go. I have one final check that I wanna do before I'm ready to export and that is a plagiarism check. So as professional copywriters, we know that this is a huge deal to be able to check the content that you're creating is original and that your content isn't gonna be flagged or anything like that. So to run a plagiarism check on your content, we're gonna select a section at a time. You can select up to 600 characters as an output for the AI. And you'll be able to see right here in the shortcut menu how many characters you've selected 
And so if you ever see, um, maybe you selected a bunch of content and this is all grayed out, it's because you have too much content. So just highlight a little bit less and it'll be able to generate. Then we're gonna select plagiarism check from the shortcut bar. And we'll see this sidebar pop up on the right-hand side. Now, did you see that little circle? When I click plagiarism check, it looks like it's loading, 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 and then it looks blank. That means that there's no results, which means that it's 100% original content that the AI has generated. Now let's go ahead and check this section. Now this section has a few words that are showing up other places on the internet. And you'll see a full report here. So these are all of the different sources. So if we scroll down, we can see the amount of words that are matching. And then when you click view report, you'll actually be able to see the source of where this copy is showing up. So it's showing up on this other blog. So what you can do is just go ahead and rephrase it. So let's rephrase this to make sure that it's not gonna be plagiarized. And then we can add this in instead. Now this is the definition of digital marketing. And so I'm sure that that's gonna show up a few different places, but that you could do that all the way down on your blog to be able to just have peace of mind um, and make sure that your content is original and then you're ready to export. You come up here in the upper right hand corner, select this export, and then there's a few options. You can download as a docx or a PDF and we'll select docx today and then we'll hit export. And here comes our blog and there we go. Here's our blog about digital marketing, DocX, ready to go. We just completed a blog together in just a few minutes, guys. I hope that was helpful. And this is how you can make your writing workflow so much simpler and so much easier using Simplified's long form writer. See you next time to learn even more about how to win at copywriting in the age of AI.